Bro, did you see that um, <laughs> we made the uh, Fox News last night? I get home, right? I'm looking at some different news sites. That front page of Fox News was Joe Rogan reading the TikTok. Oh, when we're reading the terms of uh, service? Yeah. Fucking crazy, right? That, but it was the front, it was the main really? thing. Yeah. The head article is Joe Rogan reads the TikTok agreement, right? It's like, terms of service. It's almost like. Sometimes I'm like, is Joe the only person who's reading the terms of service of things in America and the rest of us are just using shit like right out of the box, like not even paying attention to what's going on? That's what I felt like a little bit. I think a lot of people are now with with things like TikTok because there's been a lot of articles written about it and a lot of people calling for it to be banned because it's basically Chinese spyware. It's but if really... they get us, then what would they like? So say we talked about it a little bit the other day, but say they get, like they infiltrate all the electronics, they get all the data and everything. But then how do they get us as people? Like, how do they get us into the cages? Well, <laughs> I don't think it's as simple as get people in the cages. I think what they want is intellectual property. They want to steal data and they want to like if they have access to your computer and right. say, what if you're working on some fucking weapon system? Or what if you're working on uh, something, some communication system, and they have access to your computer, they can steal that data from your computer oh, because so they just, have access to it because you're using TikTok. So it's just about information. Yeah. One of the more disturbing things was saying that it, they have access to computers that aren't even being used for TikTok. Right. Like other computers yeah, that you're using. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Which is just... That's crazy. It's so insane that that would actually be something that someone would allow. They they had a an engineer, a uh, software engineer, back engineered TikTok and said it was the most, in terms of like invasion of privacy, it was the most egregious example that they had ever found. So wouldn't do wouldn't there be some some comp some structure or template in American society or government or hierarchy that would protect us from that sort of thing why that's what I don't understand sometimes why isn't there like a something that protects us from that sort of thing or is it just our own responsibilities I don't know what they can do now other than ban it but I know they were talking about banning it, banning it for a while but then there was some sort of a deal that was made where the data was going to go from the American version of TikTok was going to go to America but it turns out that it's not it's going straight to China and then they get the version to America see if that's correct see that sounds wrong like what I read that's pretty good on, yeah, let's, think. and we're gonna keep using it. It's almost like because what like what if they hit they told women there's a makeup that would steal your face, right? <laughs> like you right. put it on and it's gonna put your face in China. Yeah, and then we still use it, right? I mean that just shows me the level of addiction that we have to uh, social media. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's a it's an addiction. They have an office here. TikTok has an office in Austin for people that need help. Yeah, you know how I found about that. Some lady was heckling the creek in the cave, and she said, "I go, what do you do?" She's like, "I work for TikTok." Damn. <laughs> <laughs> how old was she? <laughs> She's in her twenties. Oh, that's all right, <laughs> dude. Tony ripped into that lady the other night. Dude, oh, that lady was nuts. All over. A, a that table's very sad. There was some, some fucking drunks last night, yeah. man. Some rowdy ass people. For a Tuesday? Yeah, you crushed, man. It was fun. It was cool. I hadn't seen you perform in a long time. I mean, I hadn't seen a lot of people perform in a long time. Yeah, it's, uh, here it goes. Leaked audio from 80 internal TikTok meetings show that user data, U.S. user data, has been repeatedly accessed from China. I feel like with these tools, there's some backdoor to access user data in almost all of them, said an internal auditor hired to help TikTok close off Chinese access to sensitive information like Americans' birthdays and phone numbers. Damn. And if you look at the terms of service, it's a lot more than that. Yeah. What, what they have the ability to access is a lot more than that. That ter The terms of service is nuts. Just reading that any company that would try to sell you on social media, I mean, it's one thing to like say, oh, we're going to target ads in your direction. We're kind of used to that. Like, right. Whatever. Like with, with Google and shit, like, I don't mind if they send ads my way. But that what they're doing is nuts. They have access to your audio. That means they have access to your fucking microphone. They're so, listening to you talk. That's scary. Yeah, like if you're having a conversation, like we're going to do this deal with China and what, what we're going to sell them is this. But how much bullshit do they have to listen to of just people fucking listening, you know, like talking to an animal or fucking, you know, like uh, recording like a recipe for a buddy or something? Like, how much <laughs> bullshit are they having to fucking say? Like it's almost sad if there's just like a, you know, just a field, like a football field of Chinese people. <laughs> 
just listening to Americans like <laughs> fucking clear their throat and shit. Yeah. I think most of that stuff they're not interested in. They're interested in targeting specific individuals. Like let's say you're uh, an executive at a big software company. Okay. And they know that your kids are using TikTok and their kids are also using your computer. Mm. Well, they get access to your computer now. Right. This is what it seemed to me. I mean, obviously, I'm a, a, Lud a Luddite. Luddite? Luddite. When it comes to this shit. So I'm, I'm just explaining from what I'm reading in terms of like what could this could be interpreted as. That they, they have access to your keystrokes. Yeah. Meaning like whatever you're typing, right. you're typing to your wife. Like I'm tired of your bullshit. Like whatever you're typing, they have access to that. But it's just crazy that all of them are going to be in their sleep. Those people that work there and in, the, in the middle of the night, they just have some love letter to some fucking, <laughs> you know, a couple gay dudes or, for, you know, or some fucking, <laughs> you know, kid like sending his, you know, like dirty pictures to his buddy. Or so it's just like they're going to be fucking losing their minds. If I they're don't think they would access all that. that. I, I know what you're saying, but I don't think they would access that. Yeah. I think what they would do is use it specifically to target individuals that they think are working on valuable information, I see, high end stuff. stuff. Yeah. Or if someone was like doing something that was the, the Chinese party deemed bad for China, you know, maybe some Chinese person over here was like uh, selling Chinese information to America. They could find out all kinds of stuff. Hope you enjoyed that video and you can watch another and you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.